really. Uh, and, you know, I, I am on uh, Social Security, so I don't have, I can't afford a whole lot of stuff. Okay. But I got a question. I got, yes, sir. Well, I got tons of questions, but one of them in particular. How'd, well, hang on, Dylan. How'd you lose the 40 pounds? Just give me, like, don't 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 elaborate. Just a couple quick points. Okay, you... basic, basically, I, I'm just listening. Uh, I, I, am off of, I am off of gluten. Okay, that great. Made a, uh, that made a big, big difference in all the, the other stuff, like uh, potato salads and weenies and bologna yeah. and sausage. And awesome. I, I don't awesome. even touch my mayonnaise at all. And, you, and the pounds just dropped off you? Yes, sir. Yes, How old are you, Dylan? Just approximately. Uh, man, I'm, I'm 71. Awesome, awesome. It's I never too I late. I, I wish I would have known about you guys here. You know, <laughs> it's never too late. Years ago. It's never too late. Spread the word. How can we help yeah, you today, I've, Dylan? I've got a problem, right? I've got a, one of them is I, I presuming that I might have some kind of a blockage. I don't know why. Uh, I've taken some uh, magnesium. What do you and, mean by blockage? I'm, I'm not In my under- stomach, in my digestive system. Constipation? Yeah, but see, my it, my my uh, was not really what you call hard. That's not the issue. It just won't come out. Okay, gotcha. Here's the deal. And when that happens, yeah. okay, hang yeah. on though. You so in other words, you can't have a bowel movement. It's not like it's hard. It's just stuff's not coming out. Right. It, okay, it, that's it not good. For, yeah, that's not good. Days. We're no, no, not good, not good. That's all toxins that are coming back up into your blood, especially seventy at the age of seventy-one. That's not what you need. A couple things. Get yourself some flax seeds. You know what those are. Uh, yes, go to, okay, get yourself some ground. A golden, they have golden and they have brown. The golden ones are more nutritious than the brown. And try to get the organic uh, golden. But whatever you do, get flax seeds, uh, get a little coffee grinder. It'll cost you about 20 bucks. And then uh, put a lot of flax seeds, maybe four tablespoons of flax seeds in the coffee grinder. Grind it up and then dr- uh, add the flax seeds to water and drink it. And you want to do that once or twice a day. You don't want to do too much. You don't have too much stuff in there, too much fiber, but anywhere from once or twice a day. After about two or three days, you should start to have good bowel movements, okay? Now, in addition yes, to that, in addition to that, you want to yes, make sir. sure that you're not eating anything that's, that's uh, 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 sh- putting your intestines in shock. See, when the intestines yes. are attacked over and over again, they don't want to move. It's like if you were attacked yeah. over and over again, you'd just be laying there. You don't want to move. They're sore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So after yeah. the intestines are intact and they're sore and they're inflamed, they don't want to move. That's constipation. Okay. So if that's the case, you're going to have to do a food diary and see if you can link your problems to specific foods. There may be some foods yeah. that are freaking out your intestine. The only way to do that is to uh, write down everything you eat and then notice digestive symptomology within two, four, five, six hours after you eat the food. You're going to need to yeah. accumulate some data. So do the flaxseed strategy and then do a food diary strategy and then eliminate problem foods. And then last but not least, start working with improving gut health using the nightly yeah. essence and then fermented foods. You can make your own fermented foods or you can buy sauerkraut, make sure there's live cultures in there. And then also apple cider vinegar helps out too. Yeah, you know, I do the apple cider vinegar. I, I'll hear you speak that, and I do it, but I dilute mine. You can I don't dilute know how it. Long you would, how you would recommend it? I do it straight out of the bottle, personally. You can mix it with some oil and make a salad dressing. You know, dip cucumbers and, and uh, tomatoes in there. Or you can dilute it, if you like. That's another way yeah. to do it. Uh, you can also use uh, uh, something called pepsin, P-E-P-S-I-N, pepsin HCL. Or you can use the ultimate enzymes from Longevity if you're doing Longevity, and you'll get some betaine HCL. And then if you want to go super, super strength, uh, get a doctor to write a prescription for you for HCL. That HCL stands for hydrochloric acid. HCL drops. So betaine HCL has hydrochloric acid in it or, or hydrochloride in it. And then uh, also pepsin HCL. Okay? Thank you, yes, Dylan. Sir, I got one, one question real quick. You, have, you can answer to me later. My wife has real bad neuropathy, and you spoke a, few, a while back about uh, melatonin. Melatonin can help? Absolutely. I don't yeah, want you to... Do you, have, do you have a date on your archives? I, can't, I, I sure can't don't, buddy. On... I don't know how that yeah. works. But if you search melatonin, search melatonin, you'll find it. But if you just get her on some melatonin. There's more to it than that, of course. Uh, that's yeah. usually a sign of blood sugar problems. So working on the blood sugar is important for neuropathy. Neuropathy is caused by cells that have died and are secreting their chemicals, and, uh, it, uh, and the nerves are being contacted and irritated. So the question is, why are cells dying? That's really the yeah. question when you have neuropathy. And the first thing to think about is diabetes, blood sugar, you know, insulin problems. Insulin problems and diabetes go hand in hand with neuropathy. 
homeopathies. All right, Dylan, thanks so much for your call, buddy. And if Thank you want to do sir. melatonin, have her do three to six mil- three to six milligrams of the sublingual kind. NOW now makes a good sublingual brand. Wow. God okay. bless you. God bless you, my friend. Take care. Thanks, Dylan. Kevin in Arizona. What's going on? Uh, hi. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's up, Kevin? How you doing? Um, I'm 57 years old, and when I was 15 years old, I had a right occipital um, um, brain uh, aneurysm, okay. and I had to I had to go uh, to uh, a neuro, neurosurgeon and they had to open my head up and take it out okay uh, and they put metal clips uh on other blood vessels up there and then in the year 2001 i was 42 years old and it happened again i had a second brain aneurysm oh, and goodness. they had they had to open me up again and uh, take that out surgically and ever since 1974, uh, I've had seizures because they say it's the scar tissue from the surgery. Um, and I was listening to your um, uh, your talk about um, trying to get off other medications, uh, and I wondered if there was anything I could do. Are you on meds it. now? Are you on Tegretol or Depakote, or what do they give you? Uh, Dilantin. Dilantin. Okay. Here's yeah. the. De- you have your liver checked every six months or so. No, should I? Should, well, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Dilantin is very hard on the liver. All anticonvulsants are. Here's the deal. You have a short circuiting in the brain, all right? Brain is a highly electrical system, and the currents have to run in this perfectly choreographed direction. You can't, have sh- you can't have sparks flying over, all over the place. What's happening in your brain is because of the metal and the aneurysms and the surgeries, the inflammation and the scar tissue, electrical energy is not being conducted in a in a straight line fashion. Does that make sense? Kind of an awkward explanation there. Okay, so you're short circuiting basically. So we need to work on neural conduction, electrical conduction in the brain. Fats, first of all, all your fats, especially EFAs, and uh, coconut oil can help you too, by the way. Uh, Coconut oil, essential fatty acids, fatty vitamins, and also minerals, which tend to be fatty, like zinc and selenium. Uh, And I'm going fast because we're just out of time here. Uh, Then electrical nutrients, the B vitamins and electrolytes and vitamin C. Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Start using all the fat strategies that we talk about, the ultimate EFAs and your fatty vitamins. If you have any digestive issues, those need to be uh, addressed as well. Uh, any kind of Anything that sparks up inflammation in the blood or, or increases inflammatory factors in the blood is going to mess things up in the brain. Intermittent fasting. Google the ketogenic diet, K-E-T-O-G-E-N-I-C, ketogenic diet. Miscellaneous nutrients, GABA, G-A-B-A might be helpful for you. Uh, Lithium can also be helpful, and the B vitamins, as I said earlier, are also helpful. That's all the time we have for today. I'm so sorry. Kevin, call back tomorrow. We'll get you some more info. Thanks for listening, friends. Have an awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.